Hey guys, are you guys looking for a brand new webcam for your PC? Then stay tuned, I might have the one you've been looking for. Hey guys, it's your boy Junior here bringing another great video to the channel. If this is the first time here, make sure you go ahead and like all my videos, you share my videos, comment all my videos, and definitely, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one whenever we go live. Because trust me guys, you never ever want to miss out. Alright, like I said in the beginning guys, are you guys looking for a new webcam? As a lot of you know, if you guys don't remember, what I use as a webcam, besides my DSLR, I use a Logitech C920, which is right here. It's supposed to right. I know. I don't know. If you can see it from the camera, but it's right here. And I've been using this for many, many years. I heard that was when I got it. That was one of the best cameras at the market at that time. Uh, best cameras and affordable, which was at the time like for 150, 100 bucks. I don't remember. It was a long time ago I bought it, and so. I tried different cameras and this actually worked really good, the 920. So a lot of people don't want to spend that much money on the camera anymore. Uh, a lot of people are using DLSRs now, which I really don't have the space to do it. If I had my own computer room, then yes, I would do it with a DLSR because I could show the background and everything. Right now I got too much stuff around. I don't have enough space to show the background. But neither or less, guys. I don't want to talk about RAM on because of that. So. Uh, the good people and YouTube actually send me a webcam to show you guys today. This is the Stream Webcam and YouTube webcam right here. It's an awesome webcam. It, does, it has a lot of features in it, which is pretty cool. And they did send it to me for you guys to check out. What we're going to do is, right now I'm on my DLSR, so that's why it looks so crispy. After I unbox this and show you what comes inside, I'm going to hook it up to my computer. And I'm gonna do two cameras. I'm gonna have the my Logitech C920, and then this one hooked up at the same time. And I'm gonna show you both pictures showing at the same time, and and you can see how it looks for yourself. The difference between the cameras. This is a name or a highly named brand camera, and this is not so high. It's a brand camera, but it's not a highly brand name like Logitech, HP. Um, a bunch of other names out there. I'm not gonna start naming names, but you know. But if you want to get more on the budget side, but get high quality version, then here's a good camera to take a look at. All right. Like I said, this is the Angie Two Stream Webcam. Uh, this records HDR at 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is good, 60 frames. Um, this encodes at H.264 and H.265. And both both of those versions was used for YouTube for the wide angle screen and everything so that's pretty cool I like that this has a wide angle view so no more just a square view like most webcam has this actually has to give you wide angle which a lot that's why a lot of people use DSLR because they get to use a wide angle lens and it actually looks better so this has the built in so that's a plus um, large capture and clear picture that's a feature there automatically low light correction background replacement so i'm assuming this is like using the nvidia broadcast system that it lets you remove the background and put your own background in it without a green screen so if that does have that that's pretty cool all right um and this has pristine white balance beauty adjustments keep green backgrounds without color cast that's awesome and, and it has a built-in mic in it, so it has a dual stereo noise cancelling mic with voice print recognition level. So that's awesome. So it has a lot of good features in here. It's a 2.0 USB connection. Um, and it weighs not that much. It's not a big one. It probably weighs the same as this logic check. Um, and not much required to use this. As long as you have an i3 processor or higher, at least a 2.0 gigahertz CPU and at least 4 gigs of memory RAM available then you're all set you can use this instantly so what we're going to do now show you what the box looks like there's no pictures of the webcam here it just gives you their logo and their name of the thing all the specs here over here gives you more information and more specs 
on the side here shows you what's inside here the usual manual or what you can use this for video conference uh, video recording and a bunch of other stuff here I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with all that stuff and over here are the specs what's required to have on your PC to be able to use this on the bottom there's nothing so now let's go to the good part and open this up I'm gonna open it up I never seen what this looks like so when you first open it up it comes already in a plastic case in here so you pull this out nope oh, something fell all right so you come with this box right here and then you got the user manual in there let me you'll see the user manual fall out here I let it drop to the floor it's fine but that's the user manual so what fell on the floor earlier was this here this is the lens cover this will cover the lens if you want some privacy my Logitech has a lens cover right there because I we don't know who can look into your webcam nowadays, especially if your computer's on all the time. Alright, so got that there. So what's including here is the whole webcam itself. Alright? Here's a webcam. Now if you want to use it to a USB C connection, they give you the adapter available right here, guys. You can use a USB C connection right here and you're all set. That's if you only have a USB C because I like especially the Mac users all they don't have no more USB regular USB there is all USB C connection on the Macs so there you go that solves that issue you guys will worry about that all right and one of the things I like about this webcam too because I remember what this has this has a built-in light so if you don't want to have some stream lights like I do up here I got the Elgato stream lights on top that shines a light it has a built-in light right here that will shine light to your face so you don't really need like an expensive thing so that's a, a plus on this part so this is the whole wire uh, let me go ahead all right so that's the whole wire it's, it's about maybe five feet of cable not bad all right so now we're gonna uh, unload the camera here so this is the camera right here as you can see it has this light ring around here here guys so you don't need expensive lights or um, soft boxes to have it up here and in the middle is the wide angle lens so you can record so it looks very nice and it has a built in mount here so you can put this on top of your screen right here and then you just adjust it so you can sit perfectly on your screen and you're also right there really just to bring it up closer you guys can see there goes the light ring there and then the lens in the middle look how skinny it is it's not, it's not a bulky camera and if you want to cover this, it comes with the lens cover right here. And you simply just slide over on top. And that's it. It covers the lens. So you don't have to worry about anybody going and poking in. You don't have to take off the lens cover. You can just pop it up. So you don't have to remove it every time. But you can remove it if you want. Look how cool that is. Alright guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up real quick to the computer. Get it set up. And I'm going to show you the two lenses how they look all right so i'll see you over on my computer all right guys so right here you see it you see both cameras now you're wondering which is which all right so this camera right here the one that's covering my face is the android tube webcam all right and of course this one covering my face here is the logitech so the right one's the logitech the left one is the android tube you can see right off the back the difference in it the the angie tube one is more color like more brighter with the comes to the coloring and stuff it gives it more like a artificial look i want to say but the one on the right which is the logitech is more of a natural coloring in there it is not as bright i'm pretty sure you could if you want the one like logitech you have to adjust it with the angie tube one but this is how both of them look they both look really good as picture wise i the one thing i did find easier to adjust when it came to the angie tube over the logitech was that uh, the angie tube was easier to do the green screen on as you see i got it almost nearly perfect on there just to get my logitech set up the way i have it right now it took me forever different type of videos trial and error it was a pain to ask just to get this part done the way it is and I, I like how the logitech looks now it's more of a, a natural look the angie tube is just a little bit more brighter more wider makes me look wider than i really am <laughs> but
but look so right now i'm running both webcams using my elgato stream lights no other lights are on right now so if i turn off the light let's take a look and see how both cameras act with lights off i turn off the light and as you can see the green screen you would have to readjust on both of them so that's not a thing but the angie 2 one gives you a better picture when the lights are completely off on both of them you know look how much cleaner it looks on the angie tube than it is on the logitech so the edge the logitech is not better when it comes to low light and that's one of the features we did read on the box that gives you better low light picturing when you're recording and you can see it right there guys look how awesome it is now remember that the ng2 webcam has the built-in um light ring on there so that's what we're going to test now and see how it looks we're using that um it does have three settings it has low settings medium settings and high settings so the light brightness so when you first turn it off the buttons right on the webcam itself so it's not a push button it's like a like a touch button so you touch it one time that's the low camera as you see it didn't do anything i'm gonna do one more time for the medium and you did it did a little bit of a change and it actually made it look a lot better you see all right and i'm gonna touch it one more time for the high settings and boom look at that guys so when it comes to just having that light and more of a natural look for it the ng tube wins it over the loud attack in my personal opinion guys look at that this is no stream lights no you know like elgato stream lights or soft boxes nothing this is just using the light off the webcam ring light as you saw that it has and and that's how it looks and this is a company against with the stock logic c920 webcam you can see the big difference in this way here in this setup right here how you have it with no external lights soft boxes or in my case i got the stream lights the ng2 webcam wins it since it has the built-in light in it so that wins it automatically now if i turn off the light off the ng2 i turn it off as you see i just turn it off ng2 tube still wins because of the low light settings that they have built in in the webcam they still win it here but now in reality a lot of people have stream lights have soft boxes when they're live streaming then the, this, this is a good camera if you want to start out and you don't want to spend so much money on lights and cameras all in once and that does build up with pricing this works great so now now let's take a look at the original setting how you would normally have it with the two lights on whether it be soft boxes or in my case elgato stream lights now both cameras look great the logitech though gives you a better natural look and the android tube actually gives you a brighter look more animated type look not natural i prefer the natural look over the lighter version of me i guess so in this case if from my own personal opinion the logitech wins in this case but then again this is if you have a setup with lights and everything then you're good with the logitech but if you're low budget you don't want to spend money on lights and all that good stuff then the ng2 will win so those are the two settings that we have here guys and there you guys go so let me go ahead and get my final thoughts all right guys so we just finished showing you everything on the computer we show you the comparison to both cameras the logitech c920 versus the Angitude Stream Lab camera, which they both work great depending on the setup you have. If you have no soft boxes or like in my case, they all got a stream lights, then this will work great because it has good low light settings as you saw and has a built-in ring light. Now if you have a whole lighting setup and everything, my personal opinion, I go with the Logitech C920 because of the more natural look. This gives me more of a brighter look, but I'm pretty sure you can adjust it to give you a better natural look with the settings and stuff. Um, but other than that, this is a great webcam. You saw how it looks, they look great. 
and, it, and the good part about it has a built-in um, ring light on there now you guys are wondering how much is this thing right here this camera right here is seventy nine dollars I'll leave you do want to get this camera I'll leave a link down below this is the pro version because I have the ring light if you do not want it with the ring light I believe it is fifty nine ninety nine it's only like 10 bucks cheaper or 20 bucks cheaper but i'll leave a link down below and then you decide which one you want to get but this is an awesome little camera in my personal opinion and like i said i'll leave a link down below and you get it if you want it not it's all right but i just want to show you and youtube did send this out to me to review for you guys i think it's an awesome product so i feel like i need to show you all right guys so if you enjoyed this video let me tell you to show you today go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel also, don't forget to hit that share button to share in this Karen. And we want to make sure that everyone's aware of everything we do on this channel so they don't miss a thing, just like you're not missing out. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of the video, hit the subscribe button, enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss out. And that's it, guys. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.